Okay, so here we are on the correct version of the map, on the correct server, with the right players. It's a best of five. And in the bottom right-hand corner, we've got Solar. In the top left-hand corner, spawning far away, it is the blue Herotas player, Zest. All right, so what is Zest up to here? Throwing down Pylon. Obviously, that's what you're gonna do. 16 hatching it here is Solar. Can the block occur? Yeah, there's the block. The drone didn't even try. Drone just takes the hatch over this way because that's all you gotta do is just take your natural base over here because you're gonna take a third base fast anyway so no need to stress about where taking your second base just a gateway opening here out of zest nothing too crazy from him at all playing the uh the probe mining game and who do we think's ahead here so here's the thing Solar has won seven or eight different Africa World events. He is a very, very strong player in events like these, right? He does better in the offline smaller events than he does in the bigger ones. It's just how he is. He's a great player for sure. Zest, on the other hand, has had some better success at the Premier Tournaments and is a very, very terrifying Protoss player to boot. So we'll see. We'll see how we can handle this ZVP style scenario. It's interesting once the cyber core is done here for Zest and we see what his second layer of tech is and it's going to be second tier tech. It's a Stargate opening here out of Zest. Making an adept probably for scouting purposes to see the timing on the lair. And probably third base timing soon here from Solar. He's saving up a few minerals. 185, 190, 200 and there's the three for the third base. Look at that timing too. Just gets there as soon as 300 minerals are ready and then pops it down. Just crisp. Just crisp. Fantastic timings here out of solar for sure. Here's our adept. She's very industrious. She's going to try to get some drone kills and get some scouting off. And let's kill a zergling. Could be worse, I guess. Doesn't really get any scouting off, unfortunately. And here's our Void Ray opening. This is something we've seen more and more often in PvZ recently is the Void Ray is able to, number one, kill overlords that are over on this side of the map. Uh, Solar seems to have sent his overlords far away because he has this had ha happen to him more than a few times. So he's going to be prepared for this Void Ray. Void Ray is hunting. Void Rays are... The last patch of StarCraft made them cheaper faster and uh, less time to build so they have a faster movement speed faster acceleration and they build more quickly look at this fast third base look at it the army value it is two adepts and a void ray for zest and he's just taking a naked third base man i know there's one adept there but i kind of feel like solar should punish that or should be able to punish that we'll see what he's gonna We'll see what he does with it regardless. Hey, you found that overlord. I knew you would. I knew that you would. Ah! Lair coming up back home for Solar. Zergling sharking around, trying to see what information they can gather here. Oh, second Stargate. Whoa, are we going Mass Void Ray? We've seen builds like this work in the past against Zerg players. You basically go for a lot of Void Rays and a lot of Zealots with Charge. Ah, here it is. 
Twilight Council coming up. Because then if there are Hydralisks, right, to deal with the Void Rays, the Zealots chomp them up really nicely. Is what happens here. Zerglings getting into the third at least. Not really able to do much, unfortunately. Unfortunately, a four to them. Yeah, it's just voids, and there's your charge. So we know what Zest is up to here. <clears throat> Whether or not he could succeed with it is another question. You almost want Banelings, right? You almost just want to go Hydroling Bane to deal with this whole Void Ray Zealot thing. Um, I don't know. I don't think that's what Solar's doing. I don't see a Baneling Nest anywhere on the field. He is starting an Infestation Pit, though, which is pretty good. Parasitic Bomb against Void Rays is an excellent, excellent ability. So some Vipers are hot. Maybe some Fungal on the Void Rays would help a lot in chasing them down because they are so fast. The Void Rays are on the hunt. I mean, this is... Oh, six minutes. Look at these. This is not enough Hydras to handle this. Look at this. Okay, unless maybe one of the Void Rays dies instantly, that's more of a problem. Yeah, Shield Battery defending the third base very excellently. Uh, Solar does keep his fourth base from dying, which is a huge, huge deal. You never want to lose your fourth base in a PvZ against somebody as good as Zest, that's for sure. Got a Immortal in production, six more gateways. Coming up now. Void Rays are causing problems over here. They did end up sniping the Infestation Pit. Which is cool. Lurker Den coming in. Hive on the way. And it seems like the Hydra Count is ample to handle these Void Rays. So that's really, really good. Zealots with Charge are so fast. They're just zip, zippy, 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 zippy boys. Hey, what's up, big boy? Welcome to the stream. High Templar almost gets sniped there, but did force it to turn into an Archon, which is basically the same thing. Kind of. Solar giving himself additional attack paths to use if trying to get up here and take down Seth's base. Uh, yeah, so this is where Storm is good. This is where uh, having Psionic Storm is awesome against all these Hydras. Traditional for Brood War and for StarCraft 2 as well. There's your Fleet Beacon. So is Zest going to transfer... Or transition into carriers, which will eventually make these Hydras just completely unusable for Solar. I think Solar needs to hit this timing, right? Oh, the Zealots, though. Having some Banelings would be great, but his gas is being spent on Lurkers and Hydras for the most part. That's where all the gas is going. That's so what the Lurkers are maybe here to try to deal with the Zealots to some extent. Seismic Spine's going to finish now, and that's going to be real nice. There it is. Really, really nice stuff there. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, big boy. Thanks for hanging out. Laughing Games is gone today, but I'm here. Falcon Paladin is here casting solo anyway. Zealot run by. Getting here into the third base. There's a couple uh, spines, but um, that's not working out particularly well. Parasitic Bomb on these Void Rays. Split them off, split them off, split them off, split them off. Shield Battery Overcharge. He's actually just eating the Parasitic Bombs and Shield Battery Overcharging through it. Holy crap. That was incredible. Zealots do get handled down here at the third base. The Hatch does not die. Spines popping in time to try to make something work out. A 
No problem, big boy. Not at all. Yeah, the immortal count is almost heavy enough to handle these lurkers. Zest forced to pull back here. More zealots wandering in, but a roach spine crawler defense seems ample. Solar really wants to kill this base, and in fairness, if he kills this base, he wins the game. He is keeping a lot of pressure on Zest, though, which is excellent. Spores at the front, love to see that. Maybe picking off observers and whatnot. Outranging these cannons. This is some intense pressure right now. Storm dodging as best he can. Taking down the cannons. Big zealot attack though from Zest. Coming in. He's gonna go. He's gonna go after the lurker den. He's going after queens. Mortal's getting sniped down by these lurkers though. This is uh, I don't know. The zealots don't end up killing the lurker den. They do get a couple drones, which is okay. Got some Tempest out to try to deal with these uh, these lurkers, I guess. But nice abduct. Tempest down. High Templar down. High Templar pulling back. Uh, this is a jumping on top of it scenario. High Templar getting sniped. Lurkers getting murdered here as well. Nope. Zealots coming around the backside trying to help. But the Immortals are gone. Is there enough anti-air to handle these Void Rays? The shield batteries are drained. The Voideries are in a little bit of trouble. Nice storm. The Lurker's just murdering everybody on the ground, though. Zealot's going down pretty quickly. Ling's in the mix here, too. And that's your good game. Solar does manage to take game number one off of Zest. A hugely impressive win. The Lurker Hydra setup there was just beautiful. Wow. Really, really nice. All right. So let's move on into our next match. Again, thanks for joining me. This is a solar solo cast, rather. <laughs> With Falcon Paladin here at you today. All right, I think we got this one. This is the right map, it's the right thing. All right, cool. So both players are ready to go. I made the map right this time. I'm very proud of myself for that one. That is uh, that is great, great stuff. But hello, everyone. I'm Falcon Paladin. In case you didn't know, I uh, cast out on YouTube and on twitch.tv slash Falcon Paladin as well. But today we are here doing Africa World number 69. And our second best of five of the day between Solar and Zest. All right, excellent stuff. Top left-hand corner, Solar here on a light shade. And in the bottom right-hand corner, Zest. He's red. And he is Der Protoss. Oh, sneaky, sneaky fast pro. What are we up to here? I see you. You're not going to hide from me. Watch that production tab. What do we got? Is this just a hatch block, or are we going to try to cannon rush Solar today? It's a really early probe just for a hatch block, man. In fairness, he gets there. <laughs> he definitely gets there. And now he's trying to block. Okay, that works out for him. And it's just a regular old gateway coming in from Zest. All right. So no cannon rushing. Just sent the probe out fast enough to block the hatchery. Call it a good day.
yeah, incredibly, incredibly standard opening here today from both players. Adept coming in. Stargate opening again here from Zest. Yeah, that game one was honestly fantastic. Let's see if Zest goes for it again. I feel like it was pretty effective. Uh, Solar just getting into that Lurker Hydra stuff way too fast, though. And then Solar really not being able to do anything but maybe get into Tempest. But then the Viper tech was ready by then, too. Even sniping the Infestation Pit, he was able to get the Vipers out in time to help against those Tempests when they arrived. That was really, really well done. So Void Ray opening again. We can see the Void Ray outline here inside the Stargate as it's warping in here. Really nice advantage for scouts is to see exactly what's being made in that Stargate, whereas for Zerg, what's inside the egg is a mystery, right? Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's inside an egg except for the Zerg player himself. And Void Ray is on the hunt. Oracle follow-up here, as we saw in game number one. Zergling just trying to check the timing on that Nexus and says, yeah, that looks about right. 340 on the third base for Zest here. They're just so fast. Even without the Flux Veins upgrade, they're so zippy. Queen getting some free shots as it tries to move in here. This queen's ready to rock. Get it. Go hunting. Yeah, yeah. Oracle got a kill down here, but... Nothing too crazy by way of Oracle shenanigans. That is another Stargate. Again, two Stargate opening. It's going to be Void Rays. Oh, the Lings made it up here to the third base. They're causing some problems. They're going for the guaranteed damage. Oh, which is this? Ah, oh, they stopped the warp in. Oh, my gosh. Oracle comes all the way home to deal with this, but an Adept is dead, too. Oh, the Lings can get in. The Lings can get in. Oh, that last second warp in from Zest was tight. Extremely, extremely, extremely tight warp in there. That was... uh. Zest playing with fire on that one. Creep spread here from Solar looking pretty good. Hydralisk down on the way. Taking his third or second and third gases, saturating them appropriately. It's a lot of lings out. This is a surprisingly big number of zerglings. It's keeping the void rays at home. There's three of them with two more on the way. So, a lot of zerglings. This is what we're looking at here. A lot of lings. Twelve more on the way from Solar. He might try to wipe out this third base with lings just because the void rays are so bad at killing zerglings. Or maybe get a run by into the natural. That would be interesting for sure. Thank you for the star balloons. Much appreciated. Castor Muse. Hello, Castor Muse. How are things? It's Falcon Paladin. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're enjoying the cast. This is some good stuff. Three star balloons from Castor Muse. Thank you so much. Alright, so this is a lot of lings. I don't know if they accomplished what they wanted to. In fact, I'm pretty darn sure they did not. See, this is what we're talking about. The lings trying to jump on this. Can they do it? Not bad. They killed a couple things, but whatever. The Void Rays, though, are on a mission. They're going to Prismatic Align. Holy smokes. 
Okay, well, uh, the hydras are over here and the void rays are over here. Are we base? We're base trading at the very least right now. No, shield battery overcharge versus this many hydralisks is not going to happen at all. The void rays trying to take down this hatchery. Yeah, cybernetics core dies. We're trying to throw up some force fields. We're delaying a little bit. That's not working out super well. A warp gate down. Void Ray's recalling back. Somewhere. To the main? To the main. There's Queens over here too. He slow walked Queens over here. I think this is too much. I think this is too much for Zest to handle. Void Ray's keep getting picked off and focused down. A couple Hiders have died here and there. There's uh, trying to come from the backside. But that's your GG. Solar. Ends up taking the game. He leads two games to zero. And we'll move on to the next one here. Uh, there we go. There is me. Score screen it up. Bit of an itchy, itchy nose there. Excellent. Muy, muy excelente. All right. Let me get into the next match here. Uh, okay, very good. Again, thanks everybody for being here. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. I know I am. This has been some really, really, really good StarCraft. For sure. And yeah, hit that thumbs up button if you're interested in that sort of thing. Helping the stream to grow. I normally do co-cast these with Laughing Games. But today I'm solo casting because Laughing Games is busy doing other stuff. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You're going to be on Jagannatha, I think is how you say that. To this day, I'm just not entirely on board with uh, that particular pronunciation, but... <laughs> All right, two opening here for Solar, looking pretty good. Bottom left, blue Protoss player Zest. Top right, red Zerg player Solar. This is a live cast. This is not from replay. These guys are playing live. They are playing for cash. They're playing for prizes and for glory. Telling you, Solar is so good at Africa Worlds, man. He's won so many of these. It's an absolute baller. Third base coming up there from Solar. And by that, I mean it's his natural base, because of course it is. But I guess while we have a bit of some downtime, be sure to check out the Matcharino page. Um, I can't paste links, unfortunately. But what I can do is tell you just to go to Matcharino, Matcharino.com, and search Africa World 69 That'll pull up our tournament. You can use the coupon code AW69 to throw free 50 cents at these players. Three 50 cents out, out of someone else's pocket, not yours. And help increase that prize pool. It really helps the players out to know that they are loved. To know that they are supported by the StarCraft 2 community. And what makes them want to come back to uh, StarCraft events again. Eh? Eh. Yeah, again, incredibly standard opening here. We'll see how this goes for Zess once that cyber core is done. Is he going to try to open up Stargate again? Double Stargate again. Doesn't seem to be working out. I think Solar's got this figured out, honestly. I 
It's definitely a Stargate opening, but whether or not it's Void Ray or multiple Void Rays, we don't know quite yet, do we? No, we don't. I see you in there, buddy. I see you, friendo. And there's your Voidary opening. Zest, uh... Appears to believe, if it's not working, keep trying. Maybe you'll do better this time. Adept did get one kill over there. One Zergling went down. Overlord scouts the Voidary opening. Recognizes he's a dead Overlord, but hey, the information is good to have anyway. Oracle in production here on the follow-up. So, I mean, Zest, he's just doing the same stuff, y'all. Whether or not this is a second Stargate, which it could be. Oh, wow. Sub four minute third. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna he's defending with two Adepts of Voidray and an Oracle. It's just not enough. It's not a lot. It's enough, obviously, but not a lot. Yeah, there's your second Stargate. What the heck, Zest? Zest is 100% committed to going the same build three games in a row when Solar won the last two. Like, you think Solar's like, there's no way he does this again, right? There's no way he goes for it again. Lings, trying to jump, trying to find what kills they can get. But the Void Ray being at home is really the annoying part here for these Lings. Not enough of them to really make him feel out. Oracle gets a couple kills, shoved away by the Queen's Spore coming up to deal with that stuff. Roach War in here from Solar. Spore's coming up here too. Interesting. I guess the lair's not done yet, so we can't make Hydras. He's working on it. He's working on them Hydralisks. And there's the Hydralisk down at about 5.30. Alright. Charge. On the way. Double. Pumping Void Rays on the way. Do we think Zest is going to pull it off this time? Do we? I don't. I just. I don't know. The first few times he's done this, it has not. It has not worked. If this works, I'm going to be very surprised because again, Solar seems to have a good handle on this particular build that Zest is throwing out here today. It's the double Void Ray production. It's the Zealots. It's the charge. He just makes a million Hydralisks off of three bases. Four bases as well. Ling pressure coming in. Trying to see. Just trying to make Zest build something other than Void Rays for the time being. Yeah. This keeps the Void Rays at home. Which is fine. Couple lings die, but there's worse things in the world than losing a couple zerglings there. Infestation pit. Just now finishing up for the zerg. Oh, he canceled the infestation pit. Hmm, what did he see? I don't know what he saw, but storm is on the way. This we saw this in game one though. Like Zest totally got storm. Fourth base here from Zest coming up. Seven minutes trying to open up some of these attack paths. These lings are doing just again buying time. Buying all the time you possibly can to just drone your face off. Income here jacking up into solar side of the map and the income advantage right now.
Eight roaches in production. Ten roaches in production. This is a lot of roaches. I guess maybe to deal with the zealots, but do you have enough to deal with the void rays? The void ray count is six. It's not exactly insubstantial. Also, double immortal here. So here we go. Roach Hydra walking the queens across the map. And let's see what we can do. That's a lot of Hydras, man. That is a lot of Hydras. Pylon sniped. Big time hit there. Here we go. Storm in. Great split from Solar. Coming right side. Coming left side. Zest's army is about as maneuverable as Solar's is at the moment. Lurker down on the way. Infestation pit coming in for reals this time. Just hanging out inside the speed zone. Yeah, man. It's 175 to 138 supply. Solar is going to be maxed out on Roach Hydra Lurker in about a minute. And then it's just a matter of, can Zess hang on to his fourth base? Can he hang on to his third base? I love this wall of uh, gateways, warp gates. That seems really nice. Again, we're getting the fleet beacon. Double side attacks here. Storm defending the right side, though. Storm also available on the left side here, too. We've got High Templar in the mix. Yeah, I mean, uh, just mashing his face in here. Holy crap. Shield battery overcharge keeps that cannon alive for a little bit anyway. Oh, Roach dead though. This is actually a little bit dicey. Immortal goes down. Storm shows up. The dodge is really good. A warping of Zealous is beautiful. It's exactly what you want here and he's going to clean it up. This side getting defended pretty adequately uh, by a Zest as well. Actually pretty amazingly. Feedbacks going down on a couple of those queens. Solar Force forced to pull back, but look at him expanding here. He just has the economy to do what he wants with this. Here comes the carrier fleet, though. This is something that Zess has not been able to do, that he's wanted to do in games one and two. To start pumping those carriers, yeah? Vipers in production. Again, if you can get there before the carrier count is too high, you can absolutely crush it. Solar is at 189 supply. He's working on plus two missile attack. He's got plus one carapace on the way. He's making some of those lurkers. He's turning his wounded hydras into lurkers, which is really smart because you get all of your HP back. These high templar, this immortal high templar combo, setting up shop. Defending that third base entirely. What are these? Oh, he's setting up a spore crawler forest already. Holy smokes. Solar is ready for late game now. Bait and Storm's out. Lurkers burrowing in. This is what we saw in game number one. We saw the Lurkers burrowing in with those seismic spines here at 10 minutes. Sniping out those Interceptors. Again, if there are only three carriers, the Interceptor count is not high enough for the Hydras to worry about it. And then three carriers, though... One of them goes down, the other one gets saved. Lurker Spines trying to do what they can down here. Coming in the right side. Dude, snapping up those High Templar would be good. High Templar down. Oh, snap. This is shield batteries getting sniped here as well. The Zealot run by top left. Getting some work done here. Seven drones down on the other side. Army getting chased away on both counts. And Zest looks like he's working really hard to get his first win of the series here today. Excellent, excellent work by him. Thus far, holding on. Viper is running for their little lives. The Spore Crawler Forest gets absolutely shut down. And now Zest is into that composition that is really, really hard. Really hard for Zerg to deal with. It is the Carriers, Void Rays, Zealots, High Templar Immortals. This is really hard to engage with. All of a sudden here, Solar finds himself in the position he's not happy to be in. Zess was able to defend the attacks. The Zealot counterattacks doing more work. These guys, though. Holy crap, that is a lot of Zealots. Wow, that is a... <laughs> That's a truckload of Zealots he sent up this way. That's not even all of them. This is another group ready to rock. Uh, 
do you have enough hiders to deal with these interceptors? The answer is yes, but then the feedbacks and the zealot counter! The flank! Okay. That's just dead zerg right there. That zealot flank was gorgeous stuff. It's a free immortal if you want it. Um, I th think Solar might just be dead. I don't think he has enough. Big, huge warping of Zealots. Yeah. Zest is your winner. Take some match. Fantastic. Fantastic work by him. Yeah, that's the trick. Holding off that initial attack that Solar was so successful with in games one and games two of the series. And then, uh, suddenly... It wasn't, it didn't work, and he wasn't ready for the scariness, right? The scariness that was the carrier fleet with the storm, with the void rays. And gets the win. Excellent, excellent job. By Zest. Alright, so it doesn't get 3 0 here by Solar. Major, major benefit on that side. It looks like all our players are in here. Just sit back a little bit. There we go. Solar gives us the go. We give us the go. Whew. We're moving into Pillars of Gold for our next match. All right, Pillars of Gold here for our next match of Rooney. Top right-hand corner, it is Solar. Bottom left-hand corner, it is Zest. Muy excelente. Good stuff here. What can we talk about? Uh, you can find both Laughing Games and me on YouTube. If you just search Laughing Games, if you search Falcon Paladin, you'll find us all over the place. We're on Twitter. I'm on Twitch. We're very, very available wherever we happen to be. Probe playing the Minerals game as they like to do from time to time. Well, every time at least, especially against Zerg. Cybercore warping in, doing whatever a Cybercore does. See, this is what Zest is trying to do. That's what he was trying to do in game one and two, was exactly that. And Solar trying to prevent exactly that. It looks like Zest is going back to the well, man. He's like, I can win this series. I can win with this build. And it's got to defend effectively for the first 10 minutes. Get into 12 minutes, and then I'll have an army that is really hard for Solar to deal with. Especially if he's invested a lot into Hydralisks. It's going to be extra, extra hard for him to do that. A 
Depp just gets the scout in, you know, sees what's up. Second gateway, third base timing here from Zest. He's just, it's the same build, man. There's your second Stargate. <clears throat> Solar reading it, obviously. Let's see if Solar mixes this up at all. Or if he's just going to go for the same stuff he's done. Which has been, it's been Roach Hydra stuff, Roach Hydra Queen timings, trying to take down the Protoss player early. I think these Adepts are dead. And they are. Yeah, forcing these Oracles back home, that's annoying stuff for Zest for sure. There's your Lair timing. Do we get a Roach War in here? Did you just skip Roach War in this time, maybe? Just make mass mass hydra lurker, right? Making those roaches cost something. For sure. Trying to find some things to do. Hydralisk Den here. So, I mean, again, we're just repeating what we've seen in games 1, 2, and 3 today. It's been the exact same story over and over again. One time Zest won it. Two times Solar won it. So, that bodes well for the Zerg player. If he's won it two games to one, that means the odds of him winning this game or the next one are pretty good. A Baneling Nest for the first time today, though. I do like that. I do like... I talked about this in a previous match, right? Getting a Baneling Nest would be awesome. Whoa! I did not notice this many Oracles pumping out. I was, I was assuming Void Rays, man. Um, the Mass Oracles are here to murder everything. This is not particularly a good strategy. Uh, for a minute there it was. It used to be halfway decent. But that's because the Oracle was broken. It was doing like a ton of damage to buildings when it wasn't supposed to. Ling's just being active. I love this from Solar. Just seeing what's going on. What is happening here to there. Oracles really don't want to fight against this many Hydras. This is crazy. He's making, he's going mass the meme build. He's not doing the Void Ray Carrier thing this time. He's not making a single Void Ray. It is nine oracles. Uh, I don't see this working for Zest, ladies and gentlemen, and non-affiliated. I really don't. Okay, well, here come your slow banes. It's, you have to split your zealots against this because of course you do. I think that's it. Um, that's a ton of hydralisks. The oracles are coming in. But hold on. Hold on. The adepts are doing work. The oracles are not actually being target fired at all. Oh my gosh, the meme build. The meme build is working for Zest here, y'all. Holy crap. <laughs> 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 
Mass Oracle takes down Solar in game number four. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was amazing. What is our next map, guys? <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that. Mass Oracle wins. Mass Oracle defeats. Solar. Ab absolutely insane. I didn't I did not see that coming. I did not anticipate that happening at all. But here we are in a game five. Both best of fives going to a game five here today. This has been a lot of solo casting, but I'm having a blast. This has been one heck of a game. I am I am extremely happy. This is how this has gone. This has been so, so fun. All right, man. Here we go. Two to two, tied up in this best of five. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Solar. And in the top right, it is Zest. So Zest is like, hey, man, I can, uh, I can do some fun stuff off of that double Stargate opener. I can make mass oracles burn down your hydras and call it good. Wait, what is this? Did he send a drone out? Dude, a proxy hatch would be amazing. That'd be amazing, amazing for a game five. Holy smokes. Well, that was an event, to be sure. Ready for a Stargate, everyone? I am. There it is. It's your Stargate warping in. Here's your third base timing from Solar. Waiting for an Adept. That is not going to arrive. The Adept is staying home, interestingly enough. So look, then we go second gateway. Right? We go, uh, sorry, warp gate, second gateway, third nexus. There's a void ray. He was making an oracle and he canceled it to make a void ray. Yep, second gateway. And then second Stargate. 
Zest has been doing the same thing all day. Is he doing it here? I guess expansion first and then second Stargate. Is that the play? Maybe it is. Ten more lings in production. I mean, Solar really likes bothering this third base, but I'm not sure it's worth it for him. I'm not sure he gets good trades. I'm not sure he wouldn't be better off. There's your second Stargate. Um, just letting it be and turning these lings into uh, into drones instead. I just think economically he'd be in a better position if he did that. Yeah, here we go. Ling Harass version 5. Zergalings here on the rocks, as they do, as they do. Roach Warren here from Solar again. I liked the Banelings in the last game, I really do, but the problem with Banelings is always that they die when they succeed, and you can't use them again. Whereas Roaches that are killing, you know, Zealots, there's a chance they can survive that engagement and fight again. It'd be super nice. Okay, so this time it's not sneaky, sneaky mass oracle, okay? Ooh, Templar Archives here. Loving that. Love the charge. Plus one attack coming in here, too. This seems to be a more ground-focused arm. Oh, I guess we have four Void Rays. They're just all patrolling in different places. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Fourth base here from Solar. Third base rolling from Zest. A lot of gateways, and he's ready to rock. He's at 69 workers. The Void Rays are good units. Solar really likes killing rocks. It's his favorite thing to do. Lurker Den just about done here from Solar. And this feels closer to Game 1 and Game 2 than Game 3 was. Or game four, to be honest. Alright, double pumping those immortals. Got the High Templar. Got all the pieces that he could ever possibly want here. So Zest does. Zest doing the good things. Oh, just everything. He's on point here today. Oh, 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 forcing, uh, storming his own units there a little bit. It's not exactly what you want as High Templar, but hey, you can live with it, right? And there's your fleet beacon. Yeah, man, Zest is just on autopilot. A little bit, anyway. Hydra damage versus rocks is super good. <laughs> Say the rocks as they explode into nightmares. I like this fast fifth base from Solar quite a bit. Zest's fourth base is now coming in, but same time as the fifth base for Solar. So Solar staying ahead economically. Income creeping down into that blue, as it does. Resources lost here. 987 for Solar. Uh, this is a big Zealot warping. Warp Prism attempt down this left side here too, and the carrier production has begun. 
here for zest. So solar might be in trouble. Yeah, this uh, little zealot attack is pretty fantastic. Just a little poke. That's all it was. Just trying to see what's going on in there. Maybe scouting, pushing the army back. Giving Zest the time to make the carriers that he needs to make. Oh, that's a really exposed base over here. Maybe jump on it and take it down. This creep tumor. Look at this creep tumor, though. Look at this lurker spread. Whoosh. He's engaging. Zest is responding to this with the storm. With the void rays. The queens are here again for the transfuses and whatnot. And that's a dead nexus. Alright, so nexus down. Zealot attack over onto the fifth base for solar. Base for a base. Blood for blood, says Zest. We're going to make sure you're not happy with this base if I'm not happy with my fourth. This creep spread is actually kind of sick, though. Look at how far up it... Can you even... You can't expand there. Okay, nice feedback. Zealots get out of there after sniping... Actually, they didn't kill the hatch. Okay, that's good. Three drones died. That could have been a lot, lot worse for Solar. He's... Okay, feeling good. The Zerg player is feeling... Très bien right now. Oh, it's another... He's too far... He's too far out of position. That's another dead Nexus. Wow... Okay, Solar is... They, they just lost that one. That wasn't even a cancel. That's just a dead Nexus. Zealot attacks down the left side again. Hey, are we ready for this Solar, buddy? Friend? Got some Hydras in the general area. Okay, yes, absolutely. Zealots need to get out of here. Or they're all just going to die. Yep, Solar's ready for it at least. Zest clearing some creep. Look at this creep tumor right here. It's underneath the Nexus. That's how far up this is. Is he going to get it? He got it. He has an observer with the army, obviously. Not a problem. The storms. The storms make it so hard to engage into this. Here it is again, but again, the carriers are sort of the great equalizer here for Zest. Yeah, look at him burning this army down. Storm, Void Rays, Carriers, Immortals, that is your combo. Zealot sneaking on in here too. It does not look good for Solar. Zest may have bought himself a ticket to the best of seven finals right now. Dude, he's just on the warpath. 29 Hydras are in production. It's a good number of Hydras, for sure. How much Storm is left? How many Zealots do you have? The Immortals are even kind of standing up to these guys. Dude, Warpath. Warpath. Zest. Feeling it. Feeling it good. Observers getting sniped. Alright, alright. So you have to back out. There are Lurkers here. Storming where you know the lurkers are is a time-honored tradition. Additional observers are here for that important detection. The immortals are getting burned down real fast and actually forced to retreat until another group of zealots comes in here. This is an incredibly, incredibly hard-fought game five. Loving this one. This is the first time we've really gotten to the stage where... <laughs> Right? The Zerg player does an attack. There's a counterattack by the Protoss, and then the Zerg player holds it. We haven't seen that one yet. Oh my gosh, he's going to get the Nexus again. Zest's ability to recognize what's going on over here has not been very good. That's the third time this Nexus has been killed. And Zest is on three base. That's humongous. Solar. Another Zealot attack down this way. We're pushing the, with the Hydras up this direction, though. Dodge the storm. We have enough Hydras to handle these Interceptors. 
Dude, the zealot runbys though, with their speed, that's a dead hatch, possibly. This hatch might be dead as well. Tel 12 drones killed and Zest taking the opportunity to counterattack right now. Zealot's gonna take down that hatchery if the Hydralisks can't stop them. And they do. Actually, getting the Zealots out of there is a pretty smart play. Gotta admit, income creeping up there. Resources lost. 18,000 for solar, 12,000 for Zest. I think, you know what? There's usually not enough Hydras to do this at this stage of the game. Oh my gosh, the storms though. The storm combined with the carriers is insanely powerful. If it was just one or the other, it wouldn't be nearly as good, but those guys work together exceptionally well. The old warp in of some Zealots and some High Templar. It's 199 to 198 supply. Neither player has much of a bank. Army supply is even right now. This hatch getting replaced with some spines to defend against the zealot attacks, which are coming. Spines, spinal lurker, not a bad combo. But not enough, apparently. And, oh, here's the engagement, though. I don't know, can you do this? Can the Hydras do this against a carrier group that's getting bigger? Every time I look at it, it feels like... Okay, 22 drones down. This Lurker has 10 kills, but that's 22 drones killed. Solar does not have... He doesn't have the income to replace those. That said, he's pushing in on this carrier army pretty effectively. A Zealot flank, though. And that's your good game, Zest. Zest is your winner. He was down 2 to 0. You guys, he was down 2-2-0 two, two, today. Ended up winning it. Winning all three games. Right? Am I am I crazy here? Three games in a row? Is that what that was? Wow. Alright, so we've got ourselves a ZVC best of seven finals coming up next. This has been Falcon Paladin solo casting the Africa World 69 event. It's been an absolute blast so far. Two best of fives going to a game five here. Crazy pants. All right. So it's going to be... Bum, 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 bum. It's going to be our finals. All right. So I'm going to step away for a second here.